I've already talked about one Damien Chazelle movie, so I figured I'd trail down that rabbit hole and watch... You know, we, we can wait another day for that one. Faster! First Man was a film that I saw once when I was still ticked off at it winning visual effects over Infinity War. Good times. All the incredible heads of department, Linus, Tom, Justin, Mildred, Ailing, Nathan, Rose, Ian, Josh, Mary and Donald, who made this film so, so memorable. And a big shout out to Michelle Eisenreich. And that first watch, I can say, was mildly underwhelming. But a recent watch has really provoked me into thinking about this more than just a space movie. And have now come to the conclusion that this is one of the most underappreciated films of the decade. Bold statement? Well, that's not really saying much for the first guy to take a step on the moon, now is it? First Man explores the depths of who we are as people. The rationality that we believe to achieve success no matter the cost. Friends and family are lost due to the visually impaired mindsets of a meaningless achievement. And while this may be true for many of the people involved with the success of the moon landing, it isn't true for the character that we follow throughout the story, Neil Armstrong. While many characters do only what is necessary and even less at times, Neil performs to the best of his abilities to distract himself from the dreadful terror that haunts him everywhere he goes. Both sides of the team have the same goal but are motivated by unrelated experiences and desires. It's how Armstrong is never found to be the one to blame due to the motive of his past daughter, pressing him on as he carries through the impossible task. He crashes many times, gets spun into an unstoppable barrel roll, and has his life put at risk more times than he could account for. But he seemingly isn't phased by any of this because nothing could be more terrifying, more dreadful than the pain he is already in. The pain he feels every second he stays at home, soaking in his own grief and guilt that he feels responsible for. It's how First Man uses this as a metaphor for us as people. How oftentimes we are so irrational towards the mistakes we commit, we can't learn to forgive the grief we suffer from. It's in this way how Neil wants to remove himself from this part of his life, due to how he expects he will feel away from it. Damien Chazelle uses the film's subject matter as only a medium to explore the depths of so-called human nature. But what is human nature? How can it be a metaphor for everyone when it only explores the life of one individual? The form of one's guilt is used in every character presented throughout the film. While some of them not resolved, it makes it all the more heartbreaking to see Neil come to terms with how irrational his way of thinking is, or how he understands now what is true and important in his life. The truth being, we all have guilt. It's how we're able to use that guilt and accept that we have it that really cures us to be who we are, using this metaphor as the moon. The moon being that realization. The moon possibly being a way of removing yourself from society to come to terms with who you are. A step back from the so-called frame of your life, creating one of the most beautiful sequences and scenes in a film that I think I've ever seen. The letting go of the bracelet from his daughter, symbolizing letting go from his grief and his guilt that has consumed him every second of his life before hiding the bracelet in a box and now setting it free into the abyss of space. And only then is he able to appreciate the beauty of what is around him. The feeling that he has always longed for, to be completely alone, is now not what it seems. Realizing the true relief is back where he came from, looking upon the earth now as he had never really noticed its true beauty, and how fortunate he is to have what he takes for granted and even rejects most days he's surrounded by them. Finally returning home to feel content with who he is and what has happened in the past exemplifying how sometimes as human beings, to leave behind our own guilt and regrets, we need to go to a place as far as the moon. 